there's another endgame bow flying under everyone's radar. And although bows are taking a break from the artifact this season in terms of anti-champion mods, there's no doubt in my mind that they'll be back in the rotation before you know it. That's why you'll want to be getting your hands on the Lunar Lata 4B. This one is a very unique bow, currently the only one of its type in Destiny 2, and with the perk combo and build synergy I'm going to show you today, I think that you might want to try and find one too. Bows have always been great options for Grandmaster Nightfalls and other endgame content, as you can generally plink away at distance to deal with enemies, champions or otherwise. It's a lightweight frame bow so it automatically has some great synergy for hunters mobility wise, but it's also the first ever stasis elemental bow too. This means it'll come in handy for any stasis burn modifiers, but more importantly it will allow you to directly lean into and build around it within the stasis subclass. This archetype has a lot going for it too in my opinion, and although it technically has the lowest accuracy rating, bows are generally very forgiving in terms of hitbox registration, so don't worry too much about that stat. And because it's a newly added weapon in year 5, it automatically drops with the Vice Stinger. It's the first bow to have this trait, and I've been waiting for it since traits became a thing. Damaging an enemy has a small chance to trigger it, which on bows will increase movement speed and grant you a faster draw time. This is equivalent to knocking 150 off your draw time stat, effectively making it feel like you've got Archer's Tempo active. Ultimately though, you'll want to decrease the draw time as much as possible, and with the intrinsically high handling and reload speeds, you'll be knocking bows quicker than a quick thing from quick land. Remember draw time on bows doesn't affect damage output, so draw time masterwork will be ideal to be honest, but a handling masterwork wouldn't be too shabby either. Now you can go for the rangefinder and successful warm up combo, which will allow your lunar Lata to shoot as fast as possible, but this bow is all about the build synergy and end game potential. No distractions is the top pick as with the recent flinch changes it will keep the bow as stable as possible. This perk also got a buff to its activation time recently too, meaning as soon as you draw the bow it will be active making it even easier to land your shots. But really, the main reason, arguably the only reason you want the Lunar Lata bow is Headstone. Whether you run stasis or not, this is an incredible endgame perk and now it's on a bow, arguably one of the best weapon types to get your rapid and consistent precision hits and final blows. These precision final blows will spawn a stasis crystal which will also slow and freeze nearby enemies. I don't think this perk has ever been underrated, but it has such excellent utility now that it's finally on a bow. It's huge for shutting down a bunch of enemies at a base level, but if you chuck on the Whisper of Fissures, you'll massively increase the area of effect burst and damage from shattering a headstone crystal, making a huge stasis firefly effect. And if you use the Whisper of Rending, you'll be able to one shot any of your stasis crystals with the Lunar Lata. Think about it in Grandmaster content and its potential for not just freezing enemies, but the bigger target that you defeat, it'll make a larger stasis crystal too, which whether you destroy it or someone else does, it'll just cause huge amounts of damage. Damage. It's also great for survivability. I've been running it with the Renewal Grasps on a near max resilience hunter setup along with the Whisper of Chains, and I'll link the build down below for you. But the stacking damage resistance available within this setup is similar to how effective Restoration is currently for Solar 3.0. It really is a strong build, I know it may take a lot to prize you from your beloved bonk hammers or radiant dodges, but honestly, keep this one in your back pocket for when you do want to freshen it up or like I mentioned earlier, for when bows are back on the seasonal menu because this one has some true end game potential. You can currently get it from any legendary engram and the best way I found is to focus umbral engrams at the crown of sorrow using the world weapons focusing. The world loot pool isn't the best place to farm for anything but hopefully you'll get lucky with RNG and one will drop for you. If you enjoyed this quick 3 minute weapon build breakdown maybe you want a bow to turn up the heat instead.